I'm just really proud of the, the SpaceX team and the and honor to be partnered with uh, with NASA and uh, and and, and uh, helping with Jackson and ESA as well. Uh, so um, uh, yeah, just thr thrilled to be part of advancing uh, human spaceflight and uh, looking forward to um, yeah going going beyond uh, Earth orbit to the, the Moon and Mars um, and helping make uh, humanity a space spring civilization and uh, a multi planet species one day. I suppose it does get a little bit easier, but it's still extremely intense, and uh, I, I usually can't sleep the night before launch, and that's just true of the, the night before this one, so I haven't had much sleep. Um, but uh, you know, fortunately, we've got a great team that are really, um, really proud of the incredible work the team has done in partnership with NASA, and uh, yeah. I suppose it'll, it, it gets a little bit easier, but but still still pretty intense, I have to say. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, I can't. I can't I, it's hard to believe that uh, we're here doing this. Quite frankly, you know, feels like a dream. We'll still be obviously uh, coordinating with NASA and and uh, the that that'll be you know sort of a, a free flyer mission with um, a. A, a kind of a big uh, kind of glass dome in the front instead of a docking adapter so it should give a quite a different feel for like it should really you should really feel like you're you're in space more than one you know because it'll just be you just surrounded by a glass um, or acrylic technically but um, yeah so yeah we're looking forward to that mission um, but obviously still be work you know working in coordination with NASA for that mission so um, that that should be helpful, like as the name suggests, uh, inspiration. You know, and I, actually, you know, I think that's the that's the thing about you know human spaceflight is that it's it's one of those things that makes people excited about the future. Uh, you, you know, you look forward to you know we wake up in the morning and think, hey, what's going to be great about the future? It's like, man, if we're out there and we're a spacefaring civilization, and and visiting other planets and those ex exciting planets, I think that's that's what gets one of those things that gets people fired up. You know? Yeah. Silly. It's me fired up, obviously. <laughs> it's a great honor to be uh, chosen by NASA to uh, return uh, people to the moon. Um, it's been now almost half a century since humans were last on the moon. It's too long. We need to get back there and and, uh, and have a permanent base on the moon. I think a, a like a big permanently occupied base on the moon. and uh, And then Build a city on Mars and become a space ring, you know, like a space ring civilization, a multi-planet species. We don't want to be one of those single-planet species. We want to be a multi-planet species. Um, you know. So, yeah. I'm funding this the Sasha program. Um, it's mostly been funded internally thus far, um, and it's pretty expensive. Um, as you can tell if you've been watching the videos, we've, you know blown up a few of them um, so uh, excitement guaranteed um, <laughs> one way or another um, so it's it's a it's a tough uh, vehicle to build because we're we're trying to crack this nut of uh, a, a rapid and fully and you know fully and rapidly reusable rocket and I apologize I'm, not, I'm a little slow enough to take care of them going on not much sleep at all um, but the the thing that's really important to revolutionize space is a rapidly reusable rocket that's reliable too <laughs> um, so that's really what what needs to happen um, if that if, if that can be done then the, co the cost of access to uh, orbit and beyond can be reduced by potentially a factor of a hundred or more so um, that's that's really what 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 is um, most important about it's got to be done by some somebody's got to do this um, and uh, and if and if that is if you have rapid and complete reusability, then that that opens up. That's that is the gateway to the heavens. That's what, uh, that's what we're trying to get done, and the support of NASA is make, makes a huge difference. Of course, we would be uh, you know honored to fly um, cosmonauts on Dragon, um, but I do not uh, have any insight into. Any potential objections? I, I'm not. Perhaps this may be just a communications uh, breakdown. I don't know. Um, 
but uh, I don't have any insight into it. There doesn't seem to be any uh, obvious limit to the uh, reusability of the, the vehicle. Um, and yeah, we do intend to fly the Falcon 9 booster until we see some kind of a failure with the Starlink missions, obviously just have that be a life leader. Um, and we're just actually talking in the in the control room, uh, so we're talking with the um, between SpaceX and NASA, and we're like wondering, you know, what like what's the optimal number of launches for you know? Do you want to be on a on a brand new booster, or well, you probably don't want to be on the life leader for for a crew mission, <laughs> um, but uh, but you know, it's probably good to have a, a, a flight or two under its belt for the booster to have flown you know once or twice. I think if it was like a you know an aircraft. Uh, coming out of an aircraft factory, you'd want the aircraft to probably have gone on a test flight or two before, you know, you put passengers on. So, uh, you know, I think that's probably, you know, a couple of flights is a good number to have for a, for a crew booster. And, um, and in the meantime, we'll, we'll keep flying the, uh, the life leader. We've got nine flights on one of the boosters. We're going to have a tenth flight soon with a Starlink mission. And, um, yeah, we're learning a lot about reusability and it's it's a hard problem for rockets. I mean, there's a reason it's not it has really, you know, right now, Falcon 9 is the only um, partially reusable rocket being flown. You know, with the booster coming back and the, the fairing coming back, but we still can't, we don't reuse the upper stage or the Dragon trunk. And so with the Starship, we're aiming just like hopefully hopefully reuse the whole thing. Um, but it's, this is a hard problem for rockets, that's for sure. And it's taken us uh, we're like 19 years in now. Um, but I, I think the, the I think we can see I, the the Starship design can work. It, it's just it's a hard thing to solve, um, and the support of NASA is very much appreciated in this regard. Um, I don't know. I, th I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. It's been 19 years uh, since starting SpaceX, and uh, certainly a lot of adventures along the way. Some, some tough times and a lot of good times. Um, I'd say it's only recently, though, that I, I think that I, I, I feel that uh, full and rapid reusability can be accomplished. Um, I wasn't sure for a long time, but I am sure now. As you know, I tend to be somewhat optimistic with respect to schedules. Uh, um, I, f I feel I should acknowledge this. Uh, <laughs> um, but um, you know, so take that with a grain of salt. But um, I, th I think it's not out of the question that it could be ready to fly, fly people in a couple of years. Uh, <laughs> yeah, otherwise, it's like hop in, we're we're going to Mars. No, not quite, not yet. <laughs> um, it's got some work to do, but make, making rapid progress. I think if the we got to make sure we're we're accelerating the rate of innovation, and then. It, 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 could be ready in a couple of years. I I think that can be done. Um, yeah, I I think so. We're we're we're, build, we're building, gonna build a lot of rockets and we're gonna probably smash a bunch of them. But um, I can. I think I think this I think it will happen. I think twenty twenty four. This seems likely. We're gonna aim for sooner than that. But I think uh, you know. I think we this this is this is actually doable. Yes. Um, yeah, I was in launch control and the the yeah. It's funny. It's the same. It's the same same place. The same launch control at where the, the lunar missions were launched from. You know, it's pretty wild. It's the same windows, same glass. Um, so it's a little hard to see out at night. Uh, during the day, it's a lot easier to see out. The, the view from the the roof is actually better from the than the view from launch control. Um, but you get to see all the data there. So, yeah. Like we're, I think we're at the dawn of a new era of space exploration.